today we're gonna be going supercar shopping. You can see here we have the Aston Martin. Now the Aston Martin, we've had it for around five years, but maybe it's time for a replacement. So we could look at some cars to potentially replace it with, or even just get another car. Comment down below what you think we should do. But let's go ahead and see some potential options at some dealership. All right, first stop, we are at Ferrari of Central Florida. Let's go ahead and see what options they have here. I already see a race car, so let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so over here is the race car. Now check out these yellow headlights and full carbon body. It does look quite insane on this car. Carbon mirrors look very nice. Look at the race car's interior, guys. Like, this is insane. Oh my goodness, this is actually crazy. Giant spoiler right here. Look at the rear diffuser as well. This is actually wild looking. Okay, so this is the brand new Ferrari per Songway. You can see Ferrari badge there. These headlights, very sleek looking. This is their new SUV. We have the rims here, very sporty, but this isn't exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for more of a sports car or a supercar right now, so we should probably take a look at some of the supercar options. Okay, so we do have some classics up here to start. These two, I actually don't even know their names, but they're pretty cool. This though, this is the A12 Competizione Spider. Now these probably, you might know, they're reselling for a lot of money, so this is worth a lot. Carbon fiber roof. Look at the way that the aerodynamics work here. It's crazy looking. Engine is under all this. Check this thing out, this is crazy. We got the carbon wheels on it. Very, very cool looking. The Ferrari painted badge on the side. Carbon up there as well. This car is a very aggressive, very sporty looking car, but I do think it's a bit out of our budget, so we probably wouldn't be able to get this one. But what else do they have here? Okay, so there's a Ferrari Challenge car here, pretty cool, but it's a bit old, probably kind of used, so I don't know about that one. 488, um, it's cool and all, but I feel like if we were to get one, we would lean towards an SF90, all right guys? So a mad SF90 here, now retail on this one, 574,000, so bit pricey but we could consider a matte red sf90 this one is a pretty nice option here there though we do have a metallic red sf90 i do like how highly spec this one is we can see we have the white and italian flag but comment down below would you trade in the aston for this car let me know guys um red interior i do like this one a bit more but it is considerably more money we have seven hundred forty nine thousand dollar price tag so pricey but i don't know it might be worth it to trade in the aston for we can see the engine back here all the holes there for ventilation, Ferrari badge, it does look quite nice. Okay, so over here we have some historical Ferrari race cars, like check out this thing, I don't even know what it is, but it just looks insane, it's like a one-seater, it actually is crazy, I have no clue what it is. This is a Ferrari 488 or 458 challenge car, not sure which, but this thing is insane. La Ferrari, okay, you guys know this is a really, really expensive hyper car, but they have like all the rare Ferraris here, they have the La Ferrari, the Ferrari Enzo right next to it, the F40, and then they have, God, I always forget the name of this one. I'm not sure what it is, but comment down below, let me know. Um, they're only missing the F50 of this dealer. It's insane, like how cool these cars look. Like, check this one out. Dude, the F40, oh my God, guys, check it out. We have the original red seats in there, the engine bay with the glass. F40 is amazing, man. Okay, and over here, guys, look at this. We have the Ferrari Monza SP1. Look at the brown leather on it, though. Like, this is some very, very nice textured leather. Very fancy car. I think that's like the original seat cover. Look at all the buttons there. You never get to see inside of these cars, but like this thing is crazy. I've never seen an interior like this before. It's crazy looking. Here we have an F12 TDF. Very special Ferrari. I love the three vents right there. Those look sick. Never noticed this though. This sticks out. That's kind of strange. Tan interior, red paint, Ferrari shields on the side, of course. This was the, the car before. The A12 right here. This is the A12 GTS, of course. Silver metallic, very nice. And red cherry interior. This is a different interior color. I don't see this very much. Okay, now we are at the Aston Martin dealer and check this out. So we got two out front that are pretty cool looking in black, but on the inside, there might be some cooler cars that we need to take a look at. So let's walk on in. All right, so over here, check this out. We have the black and orange accents down here, but look at this grayish white paint, but then the black and orange accents in the interior. Very solid spec SUV, but not exactly what we're searching for. Maybe something like this, a new DB12, but I don't know, should we really trade in the DBS Superleggera for a DB12? I don't really know, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. I don't know if it's worth it. All right, so I believe this here might be the new Aston Martin Vantage. I believe that's the name. Check this out, though. We got the nice blue paint on it. Window sticker right here. How much are they charging for this bad boy? Um, 276,000, I believe. Pretty nice pricing. Um, white interior, that's very clean. Honestly though, to get yourself into a brand new Aston Martin 276 isn't terrible. It does look very nice, but I don't know. I mean, 
this is the Vantage. It's not the same as the DBS Superleggera. I feel like the DBS Superleggera is so special. I don't know if this could compare, so maybe we have to check somewhere else to see what they have. I don't really know, guys. Like, I don't know if we could even trade it in for any of these. I don't know if it's if these are good enough to trade it in for. I mean, of course, you know, these are all great cars, great options, but I feel like the DBS Superleggera, we just have such a great spec on it. I don't know if we would just trade it in for just any car, so we'd really have to consider it and take a look at some other cars maybe. But that's gonna be everything for today's video. I truly hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like. I would truly appreciate it. Subscribe to the notification bell so you never miss another upload, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.